everybody. It's Sandy Bakus here. My channel name is Sandy B. Stitcher. And it is Monday, December the 9th. Wow, time's flying. Um, I'm going to do a couple of quick, uh, short clips and then put them together uh, in a couple of days and put them up for you. Um, trying to get a lot of stuff done with Christmas and my whole upstairs is tore up because I'm waiting for the carpeting to come and it's just crazy. Everything is crazy. I'm, I'm sure that all of you are um, going through the same kind of thing preparing for the holidays. Um, welcome um, everybody, new subscribers, old subscribers, uh, everybody in between. I uh, hope everything's going well, and uh, I'm just going to show you a few quick things here today so that I can get them put away um, and go from there. So the one thing that I had stitched on that um, is going away right now is Shades of Summer, and there's the chart. This is by Artisy. and I'll show you where it got to. I did post this on Instagram. Um, so if you are following me there, you will we'll have seen it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have really fallen down on getting pictures uh, put up on Instagram. I don't know. Sometimes it just uh, doesn't work out. But anyways, there's where I finished up. Got all those threads in that were hanging. Um, and so that's where we're at. Um, and then I just have one more little thing for this clip, and that is, is that I got a gift in the mail from Lisa, and I won't mention her channel name because I didn't get her permission, but she said that when she saw this, she thought of me right away, and if you know, have seen my videos before, you know I was doing Imaginating's Free Kittens. And this is Imaginating Peace Angel. Isn't she cute? Uh, so I'm going to be looking forward to um, doing this in the near future. Um, I have so many things started right now, but I will get this kitted up and be working on it at some point. So that's all I've got for right now. I'll be back in maybe tomorrow. All right. Thanks. Bye. So Hi everyone, it is Sandy Bacus here, and my channel name is Sandy B. Stitcher, and this is a channel about cross-stitch. Welcome! Um, I hope that uh, everybody's doing really well, and I, well, I guess my brain is just not quite here yet. <laughs> I am not very organized today. Um, but we're going to work with it. Um, the weather is so depressing. It's just been rainy and we haven't seen the sun in a while. And I don't know, I always get this way right before Christmas. Do you do that? Um, I didn't when my kids were little because um, I was all into wrapping and, you know, decorating and baking and now it's like it just kind of seems like it's a depressing time of year even though um even though you know family is going to be coming here on christmas eve um there's just enough other things that make me feel kind of but we'll get through it and we're going to get through this video so let's switch gears and go into uh try to be a little more upbeat and as I said, welcome to everybody. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please consider hitting that like button. Also, please, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Um, I haven't checked my numbers, so I think that it hasn't changed for a while. Um, I think it's the same. I have been getting a ton of um, uh, friend requests friend requests on Facebook from other stitchers that are friends of other people that I'm already friends with. And so that's kind of cool. And I've been accepting all of those. And 
I've really been falling down on posting on Instagram. Um, I need to get back into doing that and I have some plans and maybe that will help. So, uh, let's see what has been going on. I, it's been two weeks. Uh, today is Sunday. It's December 15th and it is uh, early afternoon. And the last time I was here was the 1st of December, so it's been two weeks. Um, Bob and I went to the doctors last week. Um, we had pretty good uh, results on our blood work and everything. And um, the doctor is really pushing him to consider using a cane or the walker. Um, and he doesn't want to. <laughs> It's getting harder and harder for him. Um, it's I'm having to start helping. Him. Well, I've been putting his socks on him, and um, it's looking like I'm going to have to start helping him get his clothes on in the morning. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, my sinus thing. I talked to the doctor about that. He told me it's allergies and. He suggested that I get over-the-counter Flonase and use it every day. And I don't know that I want to do that. So for right now, I think I'm going to just continue to put up with it. Um, I've not been coughing quite as bad at night. So, you know, maybe I'm over the worst of it and we'll get through the rest of the winter pretty good. Um, let's see. What else? Uh, Lori had her birthday and that was last Sunday. And um, this past Thursday, Lori and I and um, her friend Karen and her friend Marilyn, well, I know them because I've been around them before, so I guess they're my friends too. <laughs> we all went to Hobby Lobby and um, I got a couple of things, not anything really big. I I purchased some scroll bars for the very first time. I have never used scroll bars. And um, I have a lap, actually I have two lap stands that they could fit on. And so I got some and I haven't opened the package yet, but I'm gonna put a project on there and see how I like stitching with those. Um, and I got a, a new planner. Um, it is one that, um, uh, it's from the middle of 2019, goes all the way through the end of 2020. And I had not been keeping my other planner up to date as well as I should. I try to mark down every day what I stitched on, and I've been falling down on that. And so um, I'm going to try to do a better job and keeping better track of of what I'm doing as far as my stitching goes. Um, I got a few other things um, that, but weren't, you know, anything that I really think I need to show. Um, and we went to a store also there that um, in the same area that was called hmm, Clothing Warehouse, I think. Um, it's an outlet store for Target. I wasn't real impressed with it, um, but I did buy a couple of things, so I guess I was impressed enough to spend some money there. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Um, oh, I was going to, you know, a lot of times I mention people by name when I'm talking about family members. And um, in one of my prior videos, I was talking about Lori and her having been in the hospital. and and. Uh, by the way, she's doing much better now. Um, she is my brother's wife. Um, and I sometimes don't mention that. I'll just say, I guess I figure because I've mentioned your name so many times, but then I forget that there might be somebody watching who hasn't walked, watched before um, or has only been with me for a short period and they don't know who Lori is. So Lori's my sister-in-law. She has lung cancer. Um, and she's been having a really rough time this past year, but right now she seems to be doing quite well. And she is on oxygen 24 seven. 
but uh, she gets out as much as she possibly can. And, you know, as I said, we went to Hobby Lobby the other day, and uh, sometimes I think that she could probably still run rings around me, but um, <laughs> she's a lot younger than me. Let me <laughs> preface that. Um, she is, uh, what, about seven years younger than I am. So um, let's see, what else? Tomorrow is my son's 40th birthday. Unfortunately, I won't be seeing him. His father and him are estranged. And so um, I have not seen him now in a long, long time. And I suppose I could go out of my way to go and see him by myself, but he won't put himself out in the least to try to see me. So um, I figured, you know, and he lives in Cleveland and I don't like to drive towards Cleveland. So I guess we'll be going through another complete year where I won't see him, but uh, happy birthday to Mike for tomorrow. Um, he won't be watching this, no way. But um, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, my cousin, uh, his wife, I've mentioned her before. Her name is Barb. She's had a lot of health problems this last year. And uh, she had just gotten out of rehab. She had been in there for about a month. She just got out at uh, the end of the month. She was in there for Thanksgiving. Um, and, or no, I think it was the 5th, Thursday the 5th, that she got out. Um, and, excuse me, and uh, she was having rehab at home and apparently just like a couple of days ago, uh, she fell in the bathroom while they were doing occupational rehabilitation and she fractured her kneecap and she has had two knee replacements but this fractured her kneecap and they also found out she had pneumonia too. So, uh, which is her problems. It's COPD and, and things like that from smoking. And um, so she's back in the hospital again. Um, my cousin said that he thinks the knee is going to be the biggest problem this time. The pneumonia doesn't seem to be that bad, but the knee is going to be a big issue. He said the healing time is supposedly about six weeks and she wasn't even back to where she could really walk from the last time that she was in the hospital. So she needs our good thoughts and our prayers. Her name is Barb Warner. If you would like to pray for her or send some good thoughts up into the universe for her, her husband's name is Chuck. And, um, they could really use it. So now I've chattered on, it's already over 10 minutes and I haven't even shown you any cross stitch yet. I'm having a little bit of French vanilla coffee. So sorry if you don't like people having a drink on their videos, but I need to keep my throat watered down. All right, I am not going to show a, um, a new, chart this week to give away because of Christmas coming up and I feel like I'm going bananas. I have so many things that I haven't gotten done and it seems like I'm busy from the time I get up until the time I go to bed, but I just don't seem to get a whole lot accomplished. Um, things pop up and I have to go and help Bob with something or I see something else that needs done or Sometimes I'm just tired and I don't feel like doing it. Today is one of those days I'm feeling very lethargic. But I did want to um, tell you a couple of things. First of all, this lighthouse, Clothesline Crafts, Caroline, uh, I have it here. I haven't sent it out yet. I did get your address. I'm going to get that done. I promise. And Lana, I did get your email with your address. I have your cow here. I'm going to get that one sent out as soon as I can. <laughs> I'm trying to get some Christmas cards out. I did get a few mail 
trying to get a few more mailed. If you want a Christmas card from me, send me your address. I'll send you one. Um, okay, now, this past time I had showed you these Santas. And lo and behold, I was watching Blitzstitch the other day. And he was showing some of his prior finishes that were Christmas related and where he has them out in his home. And he did this one. And it's one of the ones there, and it looks totally awesome. So whoever is winning this today, which I haven't drawn for it yet, um, I think you're really going to love this because it was just a beautiful, beautiful. Um, he had it framed and just very pretty. And now I am going to do this. Sorry, I didn't do it before. I've got one, two, three, four, five names on here. And I don't think anything came in after I uh, wrote these down. And if it did and your name was on there, I apologize. But I've got five. And let me see. I need to find my number generator. And I'm going to go to number. And I am going to put in from one to five. five oh, no, 15 is not right. Five. Okay, I'm done. And now I'm going to generate. And it's number four. And when I go to countdown, one, two, three, four is Verpy R. And it's going to take a while to get to you, Verpy. You know how that overseas mail is. But I will get that out. And um, so I've got that marked. And I will put that over there with those other ones. I'll try to get those all sent out at the same time. All right, moving right along. I decided that um, I've kind of been stitching on the same projects and I thought maybe I need to come up with something a little bit different um, to try to get some progress done on some of these. And I have been stitching, but just maybe not as much as I could or I should. Um, so what I did was I used my decision roulette and for anybody that has a question as to what decision roulette is, I will show it to you. This, I have an Android phone, so this is on the Android phone and it's right up here and it's just called decision roulette. I hope you can see that. I hope that's coming out. So if you go to the Google Play Store, it's a free app and it's called Decision Roulette for Android. And then that next to it is the random number generator I use. It's called Random UX. So, um, all right, I will, um, Oh, and while I'm at it, I was going to mention to you guys, I used to have Verizon for cell phone, and Verizon was good. I mean, I don't have no problem with Verizon service, but Verizon is expensive. <laughs> so I started hearing about Spectrum, and I already use Spectrum for Spectrum Cable. It used to be Time Warner Cable, and it's also... Um, there's some other company owns part of that now. Might be Comcast. I can't remember. But anyways, ours is called Spectrum. And they were advertising cell service. So my daughter got it. And so I went on there and I called them and I asked questions and I checked into it and I switched. And my phone wouldn't transfer over to theirs. So I was able to get a new phone. So I have... A nice new phone it's uh, I had an LG 20 before and I got an LG 40 so I have doubled the space on it that I had before and this phone only cost me six dollars a month for two years so and it's good and if you don't use, well, in order to get the Spectrum Mobile, you have to use Spectrum Internet, which I already did. And I have a very small Spectrum cable package where I get 10 cable channels. 
and then I get all the free channels, the broadcast channels and a bunch of other free music and all that kind of stuff. And I took my spectrum bill by taking my cable down from like $198 down to a hundred and about 116 and some change. And then my cable, my, I'm sorry, my mobile bill by getting rid of Verizon and going with Spectrum, and I have three phones on my plan for me, Bob, and for my oldest granddaughter. And we use internet, uh, you know, Wi-Fi at home, and my granddaughter has Wi-Fi, so we turn the data off on the phones unless we're out someplace and we have to have it. And we use just that, so we got the buy the gig plan, and it's $14 a month per gig. So with the Verizon plan, we had two gigabytes of data to share between three phones. Now with the Spectrum plan, we have three gigs to share between the three phones. And if somebody goes over, then you start using the other one of the other phones data. So you'd have to use over three gigs totally in order to get charged extra and then they would just charge you for one more gig which would be $14. So my cell phone bill is now $14 a month per phone, $6 a month to pay for the new phones. So $60 total. It includes all taxes, all fees, all everything. Of course, the first time I did have to pay an activation fee for the phones and I didn't have to pay for the tax on the phones. So the first bill was a little higher. But now I went from about $130 a month with Verizon down to $60. So this is my PSA. If you live somewhere where you can get Spectrum, do it. <laughs> We've had no problem with service. It's been really, really good. Save money where you can, right? Okay, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say about that. All right, now, the new plan. What I did was I took my decision roulette and I have my, my um, stuff divided up on my decision roulette. I have one roulette that's all my whips, everything. Then I have another one that is non-kit whips. In other words, ones that didn't come already kitted up in a package, you know, like Dimensions or Janlin or something like that. Then I have another decision roulette that is all those kitted things, which would be the Dimensions, the Janlin, you know, all of those that come as a kit. So um, I uh, decided that I would spend one week on a non-kit whip. And when I did my decision roulette, God's love came up. And I will show you that shortly because I had already been working on that. So I'll keep that one out for another week. All right, then I, I spun for a one week on a kitted whip. And Home Sweet Home came up. And I didn't bring that down to show it to you. Um, that's the one that has the cats and the dogs with the kitchen scene. And you'll see that on my next video because I'll show you where I got to on it. So I'll be working on that one for one week. I will be working two weeks on Route 66. And I'd already been working on that and I wanna try to get that closer to a finish. So two weeks on that and I'll show you that in just a minute. And then I'm also gonna do two weeks on Love Never Fails. That way, every week, I'll be switching something out and switching something else in, but I'll have a couple that I'm keeping out and continuing to work on so I can get some progress. And we'll see how that works. I'm going to go into the new year with that, and plus I will be getting out um, mini Mount Cabin Home around the end of the month uh, to start putting in some time on that. And I also will probably plan to get some new starts going. 
Um, so we'll see how all that works out. But that's my plan, and I'm going to try to keep track of all that in this new planner so that I um, just keep a little better track as to what's going on. All right, now to show you my whips. First of all, I had already put this away, and I put a picture on Instagram, but I don't think I showed it to you after I had finished um, putting in the hanging threads, and that was Shades of Summer. And if I did show it to you, um, I know I showed it in the last video, but I think I had some hanging threads. Um, but I'll show it to you now and show you what it looks like. And this, of course, will be getting replaced by um, Mini Mau Cabin Home for probably about the first, at least two months, if not three months of the year. And then we'll switch those out again. That way I get some progress done. Okay, there we go. I stitched in all of those hanging threads. And... It's, I love it. I think it's looking really great. And I know I get a lot of compliments on this one that people really love it. So I love it too. All right, so we're gonna set this one over here to the side. I'll put all this stuff away later. Whoops, I'm hooked there. Just lay it down here on the floor. Okay. Next, I have here, this is Stare at House, and I had stitched on this some. Oh, get it out here. This is Stare at House. And this is where... I have gotten to, do I have that right side up? Yes, I do. There's Starrett House. So I did a little bit more on that. Um, I did quite a bit of back stitch, and I'm trying to keep up with the back stitch as I go. Um, you know, there's not a whole lot on this yet, but um, it's progress. And at some point, maybe this one will come out and be a a two weeker. And when I say two weeks, that doesn't mean I'm going to stitch on it every day during those two weeks. Um, it means it's going to be out during that time and I'm going to stitch on whatever I have time to stitch on because that's four projects and I don't think that I can stitch on four different projects in one day. So well, we're going to do what we can do and my nose is itching and I need some more coffee, so. Okay, the next project, and this, I'm just, oh, I'm just tickled to death with this one. Route 66, it's in plastic, you can see it. I love this, and uh, I've got some threads hanging because I have been working on it. And when I move my Q-snap, I just drop the thread and go on. I feel like I've done quite a bit on this. Um, I was had just this, had been working on just this little bit the last time I showed it to you, I think. And I did. There is stitching in here. It's very light. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I get it really close, you can see that. And then I've stitched in. There's a whole lot of white in here. And I got the ROU, and and again, I've been working on the back stitch, trying to fill in some back stitches. I go, so uh, I will have this one out. I will be working on it. Um, I did a few stitches on it this morning, and then next. And this one I really like too. I like them all. <laughs> God's love. And again, this one will be, I spun it, it came up again. So we're gonna work on this one again. And I feel like I got quite a bit accomplished 
on this one while I was working on it. And this is where we're at on this one. And again, I am trying to do the back stitching. So I did this up here and back stitched it. And then I did most of this coming down here. This was already done, um, but I couldn't back stitch it because it was outside of my Q-snap. So I will continue on. Um, I think I'm going to go this way uh, and continue on with this down here. Most of the stitches are in this, but it goes down further. And I'll keep working on that. Okay, that was all of the stitching that I did. And now I told you I would show you um, the one that I got coming out. Now, Home Sweet Home, I said I, that's upstairs and I didn't know exactly where it was at. So, But this is what I'm going to be bringing out and working on again. This is my anniversary sampler. This is Love Never Fails. And I'll show you where I was at on it when I stopped last so that you'll have an idea when I get it out. This is where we're at, working on that lady's dress. And I think that's where I'll pick up is on the lady's dress. And let's see if we can get that dress done. Maybe even get all the way down to her shoes. You know, where her, where her shoes, oh, Claire, where her shoes come down to here. And then there's that border. So maybe I'll try to get, try to get that done. Okay, so that is the stitching. And I told you I wasn't going to give away a chart this time. So I just, well, we're at 29 minutes. So I just want to um, say that um, I don't think I'll be back before Christmas. I just have so much to get done here and um, get things planned for this Christmas meal that's going to be at my house on Christmas Eve and um, getting a hold of family and finding out who's coming and who's not and how many chairs I need and how many tables. And, you know, if you host family, you know what I'm talking about. It can be quite a bit of work. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope and pray that everybody has a wonderful, wondrous Christmas. And if I don't get back to you before the New Year's, which is possible, I'll try to be back, you know, in, in at least two weeks. But if it doesn't happen, have a wonderful New Year. I hope all your dreams come true, that everybody puts all their problems aside and can have a Merry Christmas. Probably won't happen here. My son probably won't come. We have another, my brother's youngest son who says he doesn't believe. So he doesn't believe in Christmas or Jesus's birthday or whatever. So he doesn't usually want to come. And, you know, it's family. You don't pick your family. You don't choose them. Uh, I always, I try to tell myself that um, God puts family together for specific reasons. He always has a reason for why someone is born into whatever family. We may not understand it, but... It's the way that it is, and he has his plan, and we just have to kind of go along and, and try to go along with his plan and believe that he knows what he's doing. So that's how I'm going to leave it. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, hugs and love to everybody, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.